Hello everybody out there, how are you today? In one of my recent videos, I shared a healthy hygiene haul, uh, some of the recent healthy bathroom related items that I picked up, and the Diva Cup was one of them, and I mentioned that I would probably do a review video on it. Um, and so that's what I'm going to do today is just elaborate a little bit more on my thoughts on the Diva Cup, some of the pros and the cons, how to use it a little bit, and just basically just kind of go over more info on the Diva Cup and all that good stuff. I'm a pretty simple girl in the way of feminine hygiene. All my life I've pretty much always preferred pads. I find them just a lot easier. So I never was too interested in really using a menstrual cup or the Diva Cup. I hadn't really ever paid much mind to them, even though like I've seen them in stores over the years, but I just never really, I guess, considered using it. But because I had heard so many good things from um, some of my friends, some of the girls that I know, I just really wanted to give it a try. I really, really love the concept of the Diva Cup or really any other reusable menstrual cup. They're very cost-effective, very environmentally friendly, very practical for a lot of women, and so it makes sense why it appeals to a lot of women. So before I get started on some of the pros and the cons, I'm just going to really quickly go over basically what the Diva Cup is. And this is it here. It's basically a reusable silicone bell-shaped cup that is designed to capture your menstrual fluids. That's that's basically what it is. That's what it does. Very exciting. It also comes with this little pouch, which is really useful when you need to store it or take it with you or whatever. So I'm just gonna get right into it. I'm gonna start with some of the advantages. Like I mentioned, the Diva Cup is very cost effective and it's very environmentally friendly because it's reusable and can be used for up to about a year, probably a little bit longer depending on the condition that it's in, um, any cleansing agents that you use to clean it, like how you clean it. Because it's so reusable, it saves quite a lot of money. I think I paid between $30 to $40 or so for my Diva Cup. I actually can't remember. I know it's around that mark. I think it retails for about $40 or so. And because there's nothing to dispose of, it's very environmentally sound. And that's something that I really like about it. Because it's made of silicone, it's very easy to clean and doesn't harbor bacteria. Some people will boil it in water just to kind of sterilize it. They do make like a Diva Cup wash specifically for it that you can buy. But you can also use Dr. Bronner's. If you've ever heard of Dr. Bronner's, they're just a really versatile like Castile soap. Um, I know some people that use that. It is very easy to clean though. Like it rinses really easy, not a big deal. One of my favorite advantages is that it can be worn all day up to 12 hours depending on your cycle then you want to change it throughout the day a little bit but generally it can be worn all day you don't have to worry about it in the same way that you would a tampon it's also really comfortable you don't even notice it and you can wear it for pretty much every occasion whether it be swimming or other physical activity um, you don't have to worry about it and another benefit is that because no menstrual fluid is exposed to the air there's no odor that you have to worry about so despite there being a bit of a learning curve with um, inserting it and removing it properly. It is actually very easy to use. It's really straightforward and it isn't actually as messy as you think it would be considering the fact that you're like all up, all up in there. But there definitely is a bit of a learning curve and it can take a few cycles to just get the hang of it and finding which technique works for you and um, kind of just mastering mastering the diva cup basically i'm not personally grossed out by menstrual fluids but when it comes to getting used to using it you definitely you definitely get right up in there you get you get personal you know what there is a lot of benefits to understanding your cycle and kind of getting more up close and personal with your flow and with your body definitely menstrual cups are a great way to kind of just like learn about yourself a little bit more am i the only one who finds it so fascinating just to see how much goes in here. So I would say that those are the advantages for the most part. Pretty much all of the disadvantages that I have found with using the Diva Cup are related to just that it can take a bit of practice to learn how to insert it uh, with the correct fold. I will share with you guys a couple of the fold techniques that you can use um, and also removing it properly. The first time, the very first time that I ever used the Diva Cut, when I removed it, basically I didn't realize that you have to release the suction and so this sounds so like alien 
release the suction. Because I didn't realize that you have to release that suction, it felt like my it felt like my organs were being removed. Like I was just suction cupping, just t plunging, pl take a plunger and just. Okay, I'm getting a little out of hand here. All I have to say about that is really just um, make sure that you read the instructions. That is the life lesson that is to be learned from that. Um, it tells you all about the way to do it properly um, and that sort of thing. And yeah, it was it was definitely um, after I spoke with a few people, they're like, you know, you have to, you know, just make sure that the suction isn't still intact. And then it's just like not a big deal at all whatsoever. It's really a matter of just getting the technique down and, um, you know, having proper strategy when doing it. I think depending on where you are when you're using it, if you're out all day, maybe if you know that you have to use public washrooms. I know I personally prefer the comfort of my own bathroom when getting used to using it or, I don't know, probably for the most part just with using it in general, it's just nice to maybe not, you know, be in a place where you're like, ah, uh, uh. What are your thoughts on that when it comes to convenience versus inconvenience with the Diva Cup? Do you, any of you find that it's convenient pretty much anywhere you go. I don't know. All in all, I think that the Diva Cup is extremely useful. Very has so many different benefits. A couple different ways that you can Oh my god. There's a couple different ways that you can insert the Diva Cup and so I'm just going to show you guys um, a couple of the fold methods. So the first one is what is known as the C fold or the U fold and it's literally just this and then that, so as you can see. Or you can do this one where basically you create more of a point so it's not as wide and it looks like that. And then obviously, once it's in there, it'll just bloop. And then there's a bit of like a twisting motion that helps to just unfold it and create that suction. And then when removing it, you're essentially just gonna release the suction by kind of squeezing it. And, um, and then you can just pull it out. And it's uh, pretty simple. That's about it. And that's where I messed up because I just kind of was like, ah, plunger. So that's pretty much it for my um, perspective on the Diva Cup and some of the pros and some of the cons. In my opinion, I definitely recommend either the Diva Cup or really any menstrual cup, giving it a try. Um, like I mentioned, very cost effective, very environmentally friendly. Um, very practical, very, very useful, and um, a lot of women really love it. And I think more than anything, it's just really important to find products that work really well with you, that you feel comfortable using, um, and that you feel good about, and that's really all that matters. Everyone is so, so different, and like a lot of you had mentioned to me, there's a lot of different kinds of menstrual cups, lots of different brands, lots of different um, shapes and um, sizes of cups that you can always choose from and um, just kind of finding what works for you is really really important and will just help to make period things more enjoyable. So that's about it. Please leave me a comment below with your thoughts on the Diva Cup or if you've used it or if you've used any other menstrual cups and if you have any other tips or suggestions or recommendations. This video is definitely open to all of your guys' thoughts as well. I hope this video was helpful for some of you guys out there and I will see you in my next video. Bye.